What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Now, I have a nice simple project for you and this is something that I have been meaning to build with a long time. It's a downdraft table or a sanding station, something to pull that dust away when you're doing sanding, help protect your lungs, which is even more important in the current climate. So, I have what's left of my plywood supplies now. This is kind of getting to the last of the materials I have in the workshop, but uh, this is a nice nice simple part. We're essentially just going to build a box with a bunch of holes in the top, um, a four inch duct on the back. We'll seal it all up to make sure it's airtight and we'll make sure the top is removable just in case we need to um, clean out the box or if dust gathers in the corner, we can get rid of that stuff. So without further ado, let's build ourselves a downdraft table. This is pretty simple. So it's literally just gonna be a box. That's gonna be our base. That's our top, nothing to it really. Two sides, two long sides, two short sides, which we'll go in between and uh, we'll screw this whole thing together. Now we'll make up this frame, we'll get it all screwed together and uh, then we'll seal the corners inside the box. Nice and simple, Bob's your uncle. Here we go. I hate those dust masks. Anyway, here we go guys. So this is where we're at. I have the box fully assembled now, so base is screwed, all the walls are screwed on. And what I did was I made a small little frame that just sits inside the box like this. That's gonna to attach to my lid. It's about two and a half inches thick. Um, so it's gonna be a compression fit. So when I fit the lid, I'm gonna screw and glue the lid to that now and push it down. That should give me a compression fit and it should give me a relatively good airtight seal all around. And if I ever need to take the lid off the box again, I can just pull that off. That's the plan. Now I'm also thinking about putting a baffle inside in here. So I might put a, a ramped baffle to cut off half the box down to the opening when I put the four inch or the hundred mil hole for my four inch hose. So yeah, so it's fairly simple so far. Let's just build a box. So we're gonna seal now all the edges of this box, all the joints with some Tech 7. And um, that's, that's gonna really seal it up and hopefully keep it airtight and uh, give us plenty of air to pull down. So next thing I wanna do is glue and screw this, which is gonna be fairly simple. So it's just like put a bit of glue on that, sit this down and get the screws into it. Let's do it.
Okay, we have our grid done out. Again, I've come in, there's my edge there because we have, obviously we're in from the lip. So I came in 20 mil and then it's every 40 millimeters after that. And the same from this side, just squared it all around so we have a grid. Some of the lines are pre-existing because we're reusing some old plywood that I used for something else. And this is getting repurposed. So 10 mil bit in the drill. I'm just gonna drill at all the intersections, all these squares now, a 10 mil hole. So uh, I'm gonna get busy drilling. This is where we're at. Our box is complete. Our top is done. We have all our holes drilled, so everything's happy days. And I just cut another rectangular piece. This is going to act like a baffle. So that's going to sit in here at an angle, just like that, just to close off some of the box so we get a better airflow pulling down from the top. And we're not uh, trying to suck air from the entire box. So that should close it off a bit. So next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to seal up all the corners of this box. We'll install the baffle, we'll seal around that, and then we can drill our four inch hole and get ready to fit our four inch flexi pipe. So yeah, we're almost home now. There's not much more to this, and uh, hopefully it'll work. Okay, it is the next morning and I left the silicone or Tech 7 overnight just to go off and uh, so that's all sealed up, all our corners are sealed up now. I put in the baffle board just to close off some of the box so and seal around that so we're good to go. So next thing I need to do is take the 4 inch hole saw, put my hole here to accept my 100 mil or my 4 inch hose and then give it a sand up and we're underneath there. Okay, one four inch hole and we essentially <laughs> friction cut our way through because this four inch hole saw is bent. There's no teeth left on it and it was causing the belt on the pillar drill to slip. So I just used my Milwaukee hand drill. You can see the power that are in these things. So you turn the torque down, they nearly twist your arm off. But uh, yeah, we're through it anyway. So next thing we need to do now is just sand all this up, get all the splinters and stuff off it so we don't cut the hands off ourselves and then we can fit our holes. Let's do it. Okay, so we're all sanded up, ready to go. And at this point, I would advise getting a piece of four inch waste pipe, cutting a small section just for a quick couple, stick it in here and seal that all up. But because the current situation is the current situation, I have no four inch waste pipe. I can't go get a bit. So in order to test this, I'm just gonna put in the flexi hose and I'm gonna just duct tape around the outside just to seal it up. And uh, that'll give a good demonstration. But yeah, and later on, I will get a bit of four inch pipe, stick it in there for a quick couple and seal it up. So it is what it is. We are where we are, as they say. So I have some duct tape here. So we'll seal this up with this. And that should give us a pretty good idea.
There we go, one downdraft table complete. Another extremely simple build that should keep you busy during lockdown and uh, it's a great addition to any workshop. It's something that I've been meaning to build with a long time and uh, I suppose one silver lining I've been stuck in my shed is that I'm getting to build a few things that I needed to build for a while and uh, this will save the lungs, hopefully. I will always be wearing um, a dust mask anyway, but this is just something that will pull some more of that dust away down the hose and out. I don't have to hold the hose in my hand, making it awkward. And it's a nice height too, so my mini workbench, I really like working on that, because it's a real nice height. This is a nice height for me too. I can just sand away here. The work is close to me, and it's gonna pull all that air down. Now hopefully the smoke, I was trying to demonstrate how much air has actually been pulled down through this. That Record Power DX 4000 pulls thousands of litres of air per minute. So it's really sucking this down and it's a pretty tight seal with the compression fit. So that's good, everything is sealed up and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So there you go guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that one. Now you could make this box a little bit smaller if you guys are on it like a two inch hose or like a 30 mil hose, it's an inch and a half I think. Um, you could fit that in here as well, just make the box that bit smaller so it's um, a less air volume inside in the box so you'd be pulling more air from the top. That is perfectly doable too. I just made it this big because I wanted it this height and I wanted to put in the four inch hose. But you could make it smaller, so that's no problem there. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed that one guys. Thumbs up if you did, share the video, that would help me out a lot. Comments and questions below. Uh, the channel has exploded in the last few days, so that's great. And welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for the support, thanks for all the comments. And uh, yeah, hope you're all doing well. Stay safe, look after yourselves, and I shall see you in the next project. Take it easy.